a lot of people have said, oh, Shannon left so much on the table. Shannon is not a journalist. Mm. I've never said I was a journalist. Shannon Sharp responded to criticism of his Cat Williams interview that has now generated probably about 30 million views on the Club Shay Shay YouTube channel in two days, that Shannon didn't have any follow-up questions to the claims that Cat was making. If you listen in my intro, hello, welcome to another episode of Club Shay Shay. I am your host, Shannon Sharp. I'm also the proprietor of Club Shay Shay, the guy that's stopping by for conversation and a drink today. The person that's coming by for conversation right. and a drink. Some call him the greatest, the greatest, one of the greatest comedians, dead or alive. I'm a conversationalist, not right. an interviewer. It's a different space. I'll repeat that Shannon is a conversationalist, not an interviewer. I have an interview. It's gonna be the interview of 24. And the interview that I'm talking about, I've been trying to line this interview up, ended up getting this interview. Right. So if you want those type of interviews, Cat Williams was my 102nd interview. And get those type of interviews. I remember rapping the interview. The, I, the interview is two hours, 46 minutes, and five right. seconds. The hardest thing for me, Ocho, as the interviewer, I'm a conversationalist, not right. an interviewer. Oh, this is so much fun for me. Now look, Shannon Sharp is one of the all-time greats of the NFL. I would never step on a football field and all of a sudden talk like I was a you know, Hall of Famer or anything like that. No, no, no. The game deserves more respect than that. Well, Shannon, you're on a different field now. Let's play. He, and he says, I've been waiting a whole year right. to, to say my piece. The right, the right space and platform to say yes, his piece. Yes, yes, right. No, 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 no. And the reason I had to come is because you made a safe place for the truth to be told. You know what I mean? Thank you, Hakeem. And I he said, "You've allowed other people a very safe place. That's right. why we like coming." Wait for it, Shannon. Wait for it. And I have watched all of these low-brow comedians come here and disrespect you in your face <laughs> and tell you straight up lies. <laughs> I'm talking about things that have never been heard in all of black Hollywood. They feel comfortable sitting here and lying to you about it. Because they know that Shannon doesn't have the knowledge to challenge anything that they say. If you want 60 Minutes, if you want Dateline, mm -hmm. if you want uh, 48 Hours. Neither Dateline or 48 Hours conduct interviews with people in entertainment. They're focused on you know, crime and justice and court cases. So no, they're not interviewing comedians. But, I mean, maybe Shannon should have checked that fact, but he's not really that kind of guy. Will there ever be another comic new, Def Comedy Jam? Can, could, could that, in today, in 24, 25, 26, could we see that again? They've already announced it. It's already going. You didn't know? Mm -mm. Yeah. Variety announced in July 2023 that Kevin Hart was teaming with BET. So while all you guys said was, well, Shannon, you needed a follow-up question with what? I'll give you two examples from the two parts of the interview that I watched. I didn't watch the full three hours of this. Are you crazy? Next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were going to pay him $10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. How much money did they give? No, not money a year. Kat just said $200 million based on $20 million at $10 million a pop. 200. Sir, Fast and Furious is on what number right 10. now? 10 million. So you just said 10 movies. That's only 100 million. So that would be a follow-up question for you, Shannon. 200 million. I might need to get me one of the more women. <laughs> also, you could have the general knowledge that there's no way Ludacris is getting paid $10 million per Fast and Furious movie. He is sixth billed on Fast 10. Some stars who headline movies don't even make $10 million. For a five-year period, every single movie that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk that all I had said was just, can we take some of this step and fetch it shit out? And then I can do it? Like, it don't need to be overtly homosexual. Okay, you need some titles in Cat, like movies that you were offered and turned down because there's gay jokes in them. Me saying that and them going, oh yeah, no problem. And then going to give it to this other guy and having him do it just like it was. So you're saying they offered you a role in a movie, you read the script, you didn't like the script, and you said to them, if you make these changes to the script, I'll do it. And they said, no, we'll go hire someone else. So then they offered the script to Kevin, he read it, and said, yeah, I'll do it. And then they hired Kevin. Wow, that's a big scandal there, Kat. See, that's what you could follow up with. That's kind of logical information, Shannon, that you could follow up with. Let's get to your upbringing. We're going to circle back and we'll get some, huh? I want to protect him real quick, because you had said for the kings of comedy. What your producer is doing right now is your job. It was in 2018, 2019, but did you mean 1999? 
2016, but it came out in 2000, so I just want to make sure. You okay, no, 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 no. If you want hard-hitting questions, yeah, 60 Minutes is the platform from you. That's not a hard-hitting question. The follow-up questions I just suggested are not hard-hitting. They might be hard in your brain to think of, but no, they're not hard-hitting. I never said I was a journalist. I never professed to be a journalist. Trust me, Shannon, no one thinks you're a journalist. <laughs> a journalist gathers information and presents the news to the reader, the listener, the watcher. Having a podcast has nothing to do with journalism. I'm an entertainer. Oh, and JLo, you're an entertainer? <laughs> you sat on a couch holding some cue cards to prove you're a conversationalist? Wow. By the way, here's a tip for you, Shannon. I've actually never done an interview with a cue card. Um, it's risky sometimes to remember all those questions, but yeah, I just find that you can get a more conversation style going in the interview. If you know the person that you're interviewing doesn't see you sitting there with a cue card in front of your face, there's a tip for you, okay? He did, he did 30 minutes before I asked anything. And you're a conversationalist. Now, mind you, Ocho, I still got 20 to 30 minutes worth of questions left. Here's a sample of some of the questions that this great conversationalist was gonna ask that would have been very entertaining for the viewer. Where you from? How do yeah. you this? Your dad, your mom, right. brothers and sisters. It would be easier on Shannon if he wasn't making money off this, major money off that Cat Williams interview. Like he's probably made, on ad revenue, he's probably made about $100,000 off that Cat Williams interview. And this is what he did for the majority of the interview. You're upset that he said everything that he said mm -hmm. and he said it on my platform. Right. And now it's bringing attention to my platform. I can't really say I'm upset. I'm just calling out Shannon's BS. In the great words of Judge Judy. Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. Your knowledge is football. You've amassed 2 million subscribers because, as your YouTube channel description says, you're a famous football player. But instead of using your channel to share your expertise in football, you realize that's not very interesting. So you opened your phone book of famous friends, called them up, got them to come on your podcast so they could entertain your viewers because you're not much of an entertainer and then you're profiting off them. Yeah, Nobody okay. said anything about pushback and follow-up questions Mm -hmm. Until I got Cat Williams on. Yeah. But yeah, Sarah, what are your thoughts on Shannon not wanting to be an interviewer, but making a lot of money off his interviews? 